Today I have a tutorial about making a sound cue. First, you're going to want to open up your content browser and find a place to put it that you deem fit. Right click in the content browser, look for audio, and then sound cue. Remember to name it something sensible, as this is your sound cue. Now, once you've named it, double click it, and this will open the blueprint. From your content browser, pick the audios you want to take, drag them in. Now, on their own, these audios can each only connect to one node at a time. And we don't want that, we want all the audios together. So, we're going to right click and search for a mixer node. This mixes all the audios together. Now if you have more than two audios, in the bottom right of the mixer node there is an add input node or add input button with a plus sign that allows you to add in an extra audio. So connect all of these and now select your mixer and you'll notice that you can change the input volume of each of the different inputs. So for me, I'm going to change some of these input volumes as they may not match up what I want. There. Now, we're going to left click and drag out of the output node on the mixer and search for an oscillator. This can change the pitch or the volume of whatever comes into the input to whatever degree you have it set to. Now select your oscillator and in this case I only want to modulate pitch so I'm going to set modulate pitch to true. And I only want a small amount so I'm only going to change a few of the values. Now that I have those set, I want to make sure this entire queue is looping because it is ambient audio. I don't want it to end. So from the oscillator's output, we're going to left click and drag and search for a looping node. This node will loop the audio that is inputted into it. It can either loop infinitely or set amount. Now I'm going to input looping into the big output node with a speaker on it. So now you have an ambient audio.